An air traffic control service is provided to all IFR flights in class A, B, C, D and E airspaces, to all VFR flights in class B, C and D airspace, to all special VFR flights, to all aerodrome traffic at controlled aerodromes. There are three distinct parts to the air traffic control service that is provided to pilots. They are the area control service, the approach control service and the aerodrome control service. These three services can be provided by various air traffic units. Area control service can be provided by an area control center, ACC, or by the unit providing approach control service in a control zone or in a control area, which is designated primarily for the provision of approach control service. The approach control service can be provided by an approach control unit. However, when it is necessary or desirable, the functions of the approach control service can be combined with and provided by either an area control centre or an aerodrome control tower. Finally, the aerodrome control service is provided by an aerodrome control tower. In order to provide the required air traffic control service, an air traffic control unit is to be provided with information on the intended movement of each aircraft and current information on the actual progress of each aircraft, determine from the information received the positions of known aircraft relative to each other, issue clearances and information for the purpose of preventing collisions between aircraft under its control and of expediting and maintaining an orderly flow of traffic, coordinate clearance as necessary with other air traffic control units whenever flights might conflict with traffic controlled by other units before transferring control of an aircraft to another air traffic control unit. The purpose of the issuing of clearances by air traffic control units is to provide the specified separation between aircraft depending upon the flight rules applicable and the class of airspace in which the aircraft are flying. Clearances are issued to separate all flights in Class A and B airspace, IFR flights in Class C, D and E airspaces, IFR flights and VFR flights in Class C airspace, IFR flights and special VFR flights, special VFR flights when required by the appropriate ATS authority.